Before learning varial heel flips, you need to have a good frontside shove it. One where you'll land in the same place you started. Uh, you need to be able to scoop the tail way out so that the board doesn't drift at all. Because with a, a varial heel flip, the board will drift a lot more. So you need to be able to take that for granted so you can put in the extra effort when you need to. Now the foot position for me is about like this. I put my front foot about right here with my toes my toes hanging off enough where they can sort of curl over the edge. Um, my heel flip position is about here, so I just do that. Um, that's mostly a uh, personal preference. Just uh, try to move your foot in more and out a little bit, um, but that varies from person to person. Back foot, I put it about here. If you can do frontside 360 shove it, put it in that foot position. Some people do about here, some people do it like that. Um, so try both those and figure out which one works for you. Now the trick itself, um, it works by, uh, you pop the tail way out and the, the flick, the part where you flick is very important. Uh, if you flick too far forward, um, kind of like you're doing a straight heel flip, the board probably won't flip enough. If you flip too far out, like you do in a tray flip and you go straight out ahead of you, um, what will happen is the board will start to spin and then you flip like that and it stops spinning. It will flip and it land like this. And you might think that you need to scoop it more, but it's actually your front foot. So that's something to keep your, your eye out for. Um, you, you need to find the right angle. For me, it's about right here. Uh, not too far forward, not too far out, but like right there. And um, if you have the, the foot in the, in the right place, um, which is something you need to experiment with. Uh, when I first started trying them, I would have my foot tilted in some and that helped. Um, now it's about like that. But um, you need to be able to do the flip without really thinking about it because uh, the hardest part for, about the trick, for me at least, is in the back foot. Um, you scoop the tail out a lot and you scoop it so hard that your foot's way out here. And the main problem that I've had with this trick is I would scoop the tail out and then I didn't have enough time to bring it back to the board and I land right here. Um, and there are a couple of different things you could try. Uh, the first thing I tried was to try to uh, uh, just go not quite as far. I'd pop faster and then pull it back. Like I wouldn't really f follow through on the scoop and that wouldn't work because although I could get my foot back in time, the board wouldn't spin enough. Um, so th the main the, the solution that worked for me is pretty tough to get used to, but uh, you have to scoop out and then pull your foot way up and and bring it back. And that's not really difficult with some tricks like with a, a, a tray flip. You know, you scoop the tail out and you have to pull your foot up. But with this one, you pop your, your foot forward so your leg is straight and it feels weird to pull it up and bend it again. So um, it, takes some, it takes some practice and that's why you really need to be able to do the flick pretty easily because um, I had to put most of my focus on that foot. Now one thing that some people do, which I, I can't but I'm going to explain it anyway, is to use uh, your front foot to help, help spin the board. So you'd pop it with this foot and the board would only land about there, but you flick, you start to flick out and you pull it with you. And uh, if that's definitely worth a try, if, if you can get that to work, you'll be you'll be able to do this trick uh, with a lot less effort. Um, and that's why there are a lot of people who try to learn this trick for a switch, um, because my theory I don't know if this is completely right, but if you're if you skate with your your dominant foot in the back, if you skate switch, it's it's in front. So you know I'm right footed. So if I'm skating switch, it feels more natural to keep weight over it and pull it around. Um, so it, it's worth a try switch, definitely. Um, but uh, for me, when I, I tried to learn them, I could do them pretty equally both ways. So I, I decided to stick with them uh, regular. So this trick takes some practice. Uh, depending on the surface you have, it might change some. I know I skated like a, a slick parking lot one time and I just sort of popped it out some but here on this rough stuff 
you really need to throw it out and pull it up around like that. So um, keep practicing. This one can take a while, and uh, good luck with them.